Good, good afternoon to all of you and thank you once again for coming. The Honorable President of India is currently on a state visit to the Republic of Guinea as the third leg of his visit to West Africa. The President of India is accompanied by the Honorable Minister of State, Sri Pratap Chandra Sarangi, Honorable Member of Parliament, Sri Dilip Ghosh, and senior officials. This is the first ever visit of the President of India to the Republic of Guinea and a historic visit. Yesterday, Honorable Rashtrapati Ji was received by His Excellency Professor Alpha Conde, President of the Republic of Guinea at the airport, which was followed by a ceremonial welcome. Today, the two leaders first had a tete -a -tete meeting, after which they had delegation level talks. The talks were extremely warm and cordial, reflecting the close bilateral ties between the two countries. President Alpha Conde expressed his delight at Honorable Rashtrapati's visit to Guinea and his keenness to take India-Guinea relations to the next level. He recalled the historical ties of India with Africa, particularly the role of Mahatma Gandhi. He conveyed that India-Guinea and India-Africa relations have tremendous potential. He particularly welcomed the opening of the Indian Embassy to the Republic of Guinea and recalled that it was he who took the initiative to open the Embassy of Guinea in New Delhi in 2012. President Conde welcomed Indian participation and partnership in a variety of fields, particularly mining, agriculture, infrastructure, social housing, and tourism. He underlined that the state-to-state -state partnership and assistance should be underpinned by investment by the business community. He welcomed India's investment in Guinea, particularly in mining, agriculture, infrastructure, etc. He also pointed to the high importance that he has given to renewable energy, including solar energy. President Conde outlined the presidential initiative he has undertaken in agribusiness, where he invited Indian business to invest given the prowess of Indian business in agricultural technology and best practices. He recalled that the Smart Africa Conference next year will be held in Guinea and invited Indian companies, particularly in IT, to participate actively. Honorable Rashtrapati Ji mentioned that he was on his first ever visit to the Republic of Guinea and thanked his counterpart for the warm welcome and hospitality. He expressed his appreciation for the leadership role of President Conde, both for the Guinea and for the African continent. He appreciated President Conde for steering the country during the Ebola crisis and for providing stable democracy to the Republic of Guinea. He appreciated the role played by President Conde as the chair of the African Union in 2017 and as the current chair of the African Renewable Energy Initiative. Honorable President recalled the successful visit of President Conde to India in 2015 for the India-Africa Forum Summit 3 and the meetings between President Conde and the Honorable Prime Minister of India on several occasions. He also referred to the visit of the Prime Minister of Guinea to India in March earlier this year for the Exim Bank CII business conclave. Honorable President of India announced that India would be happy to extend a line of credit of US dollars 170 million for water related projects in Guinea. He expressed satisfaction with the progress of work on the earlier lines of credit extended to Guinea including for two regional hospitals. India will also be extending the Pan-African e Vidya Bharati, Arogya Bharati, Tele-Education and Tele-Medicine Initiative to Guinea as well. He reassured the President of the Republic of Guinea that 
Indian companies remain interested in investing in Guinea. Both leaders condemn terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. President Conde particularly highlighted that contribution of Guinea to peacekeeping in Africa in the context of Mali, since terrorist incidents could potentially spill over into Guinea also. He underlined the importance of security cooperation between the two countries and sought India's assistance in this context. Honorable Rashtrapatiji thanked President Conde for his support to the Indian community in Guinea and referred to them as the living bridge between India and Guinea. President Conde appreciated the role and contribution of the Indian community in Guinea towards their economic development. Both leaders underlined the importance of supporting the youth of Guinea and creation of employment opportunities. In this context, they underlined the importance of extending capacity building and training to Guinea in priority sectors. President Conde appreciated India's role in capacity building and education for Africa. India conveyed its appreciation for the support of Guinea for Indian candidatures in various international organizations, including the United Nations. Guinea also conveyed support for India's candidature for India's permanent, non-permanent membership of the United Nations Security Council for 2021-22. The following agreements were signed in front of the two leaders. One, agreement on cooperation in traditional medicines. Two, agreement on cooperation in new and renewable energy. And three, agreement on e Vidya Bharati Arogya Bharati, tele-education and telemedicine project. Honorable Rashtrapati ji invited President Conde to play, pay a visit to India at a mutually convenient time. This evening, President Conde will be hosting a dinner banquet in honor of Rashtrapati ji and tomorrow the Honorable Rashtrapati ji will also be addressing the Indian community in Guinea. Thank you. Thank you Luis, for this detailed account of this historical visit. Uh, I hope this will be useful for our future reference also. Now I really request Mr. Dinu Sastorki, Deputy Post Secretary to the President to make his remarks. There is nothing really to add after Secretary Richard extensive briefing. Uh, I would only reiterate that uh, President Kovin uh, is extremely happy with his visit to West Africa, including the Guinea. Uh, he had uh, extremely fruitful discussions with President Alpha Monte, and uh, he, he was the first, first ever President of India to visit Guinea. Uh, he appreciates the warmth and affection shown by the people of Guinea uh, to him and to his entire delegation. And as Secretary has mentioned that President invited uh, President Alpha Monte to visit India at a few convenient time. Uh, and that's all from my side. Thank you, Nidus. I know the floor is open for questions. Any questions, please? Thank you. If there is no question, we can conclude this briefing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.